I'm going to be teaching you guys how to curl your hair with a flat iron. The flat iron I'm using today is one from Zoe. I've had it for years and years and I love it dearly. I love these curls and yeah, just keep watching if you want to see how I got my hair like this. Okay, so as with most hair tutorials, I'm going to start with not, you know, gross, dirty hair, but hair that isn't freshly washed and it's just gonna curl a lot better. I've got my hair pinned back. I'm just gonna take a section about this, well, let me get some bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna get a section about this big. I'd say this is probably about an inch wide. You wanna make sure that your flat iron has rounded plates. It's not, um, flat plates, like completely flat plates where there's an edge right there. You want to make sure that it's rounded or it's not going to curl very well. Um, and then obviously depending on the width of your flat iron, if you have a really wide flat iron, you might be able to fit a bigger chunk of hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start about halfway down just because that's how I like my curls. Turn it away from my face and we're going to go down the curl and then twist it one more time. And then you get a little curl. Now I'll show you guys again. My hair's not brushed out at all, sorry. This is a really fast way to curl your hair. So you go down, twist it once. You're gonna bring it down almost to the very end. Twist it. Don't let the hair get too tight. And then right before you, um, it drops from the flat iron, twist it one more time. And then I just usually like to bunch them together so that they can cool like that. And then um, when I'm done, I'll sort of finger through it. But this is going to help the curl keep its structure for now. So I'm just continuing to do this all over my head. Try to make sure that you don't get the hair too tightly woven around the uh, flat iron or you're not going to be able to pull it all the way to the end. I always get compliments on all my hair like this. And you can do a curl closer to the root. It's not going to be super close to the root. But it is possible to get one, you know, not starting halfway down your head, but more like um, the root. These curls last me about um, two days-ish. Just depends on how well I take care of them. So yeah, I wove that one too tightly around it so it didn't want to come off of the straightener at the end. Just don't do it so tight that it hurts. Um, and if you have like a really old flat iron or if it has a lot of uh, product on the plates, you can tell if it looks like there's a whole bunch of burnt places on there. That means that you've got hairspray on it or leave-in conditioner or whatever product you've been putting in your hair before you straighten it. Um, that might help pull your hair out, which obviously isn't good. So um, you can clean off your plates before you start doing that, and that'll help prevent it from ripping your hair out. So here is your finished product. I always always get compliments on my hair when I do my hair like this. Um, 
I really like it. It's super quick and easy. And if you need to just sort of get your hair done in like a really fast amount of time, then this is perfect. Um, yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, video. And let me know what other videos you would like to see.